Hey, so today I'm going to tell you about my block, my stutter that I got caught in today. And if you were to look at it from an outsider's perspective, it would be the worst block I've had in probably over a year. And I, I mean worst by the length of time it took me for, it took for me to say the word. And let me paint the picture of where I was and what kind of brought me to this stage. So why I blocked like that, why it was long, is simply and it's always a reflection of how you're feeling inside. If you're holding in a, into a lot of repressiveness, if you're holding on to a lot of tension, you're going to stutter more. The bottom line, the more tension you have, the more you're stuttering. What causes tension is a, ver is a variety of things. What was causing the tension inside of me today was the fact that I was hanging out around my mom and my dad for Mother's Day all day, all right? The reason why I was causing me tension is just because my past experience around them i'm usually this very small it's very quiet it's very held back person and i felt my my being around them all day was very withheld my voice turned very quiet and this is why i always say like if you're trying to overcome your stutter in front of people who already see you as a version of yourself you're trying to evolve from it's very hard I had to limit my time with people, aka my parents, who saw me as this small version of myself. So, so it allowed me room to grow. But even that, even though I grew, even though I'm this different person, my body is still so used to, my mind is still so used to being this version of myself that is small around them. This takes time to develop. This takes time to work around. This takes time to make congruence with the version of you are who has overcome his stutter, who's expressive, who talks to people. Bring that version of yourself to old friends, maybe school, school friends and family. It takes time. All right. So I felt very small. I felt very repressive around them today. And then it was Mother's Day. So I went out and bought my mom some food and, and my dad and me so I ordered food from this place and I went to pick it up the last four or five hours maybe not that long three hours I was small I was re I was repressive and I knew going into this um, place to pick up my food I I knew I, I knew the state I was in it was very quiet that is a very a state where I often hear people say, pardon me, and I have to repeat myself. It's a very repressive state. And you you know this state as well. This is where you stutter the most in, is when you feel small and quiet. So I was in this state, and I went to pick up the food, just by, just by myself. The thing is, as you know, when you're in this state, you don't want any you don't want to talk to anybody you want you want to be a loner you want to talk you you don't have the curiosity to even have shit to talk about oftentimes i just get shut off and you just are this person who wants to av wants to avoid and i was walking into this place knowing that but of course me at a stage where i say i've overcome my stutter I know these times are the times that mean the most. I have a men I have a mentor that used to tell me the timer starts when the going gets tough. The timer starts when the going gets tough. You really can't overcome your stutter if you are if you are not able to take action that push you outside of your comfort zones in these states. When you're feeling small and repressive, you must be able to change your action so that you develop different experiences so that you develop different ways of being and prove to yourself that this state 
is not controlling you. You control your actions. So me knowing that, that this is the time to make change. Like I'm always progressing. This is a never ending process. Me knowing that, I walked in three cute girls, all right? Three girls, all so cute, that were work, that were working there. I went to pay for the food, and I said, how's your day going? All that stuff. And then I saw her type in um, the amount that I, I have to pay, and say this was the cash register. She was looking like this. And then uh, she handed me the, de the debit machine. And this is the debit machine. She typed in the price like this, like really close to it. So immediately I thought like a funny joke would be, did you forget your, did you forget your glasses today? And then I knew she wouldn't get it. And I have to ex explain, I thought this in my brain. So as I, tap to pay for the food i said this is exactly how it went down all right this is exactly how it went down to the best of my recollection i said did you forget your gla 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 oh, wow i cannot speak today did you forget your gla gla wow did you forget your 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 glasses today that's 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 what it was all right it was if i were to play back what it looked like it was that the, the last 10 15 seconds or whatever i was doing and she responded she was like my glasses no and i was like well you're just like looking so close to the debit machine i was like think i was thinking you know like an old lady or something and she laughed like the whole time she was laughing the whole time i was like glah, glah. wow i can't speak today she like got all blushy and she like started laughing the the thing i, I want to share about that is i could tell when she like gave me my food there was a certain level of connection we created just from that experience how often does she get someone say, wow, I can't talk today and continue to stutter and stutter and stutter and not give her anxiety and not give her, oh my God, feel sorry for this guy. No, I was laughing. I was still looking at her. I wasn't stressed. I was in this repressive state. And seeing that really reminded me to make this video that the old version of me would have had that happen and say oh my god i cannot talk to anyone no one no one likes me who's gonna like me if i talk like this the old version of me would have looked up a speech fluency technique to say next time i'm gonna do this technique so i don't get caught in the block fuck that what is so, so much more powerful is if you enable yourself to no matter what stage you're in, no matter what state you're in, no matter how much you stutter, to know you're going to be okay. So that when you are stuttering, you're not stressed. So that you are, when you are stuttering, you're not trying to push through the block. So that when you are stuttering, you're not feeding the other person anxiety because you're um, what was the word I was saying? Glasses today. So I'm not feeding the uncomfortability. What if I was completely cool with it? Like I was. Wow, I can't talk today. What, what if I can have conversations like that? The connection we then share is so much more deeper. It is authentic. I'm showing the authentic me. I'm hiding no no part of me back. If I was trying to mask that with a speech technique, I feel fake. I feel like I'm trying to impress her. I feel like I'm trying to prove something to her. No, this is me. I'm in this state. I'm showing you my state. 
And for me to feel safe in that area, for me to not freak out, is pure freedom. That's the stage that is pure freedom. That no matter if you're in an office meeting, no matter whatever, whatever spot you're in, you can stutter and be completely fine. Because the thing is, Doing having experience like that, where I'm completely in control, even, like even though I can't say the word right now, I feel completely in control because I'm not pushing through anything and I'm completely cool with this moment right now. That took me out of that repressive state. That made me no longer have those blocks, just instantly. And it's because I was judging myself. I knew I was in that state and I knew I had to push myself. I was judging myself on the action. My self-worth went up from getting caught in the block. My self-worth went up from getting caught in the block. That's the difference who I am now versus who I was before. Before, my self-worth would automatically plummet. Now I'm saying to myself, I didn't want to talk to anyone. I wanted to hide away. I, I wanted to avoid. But I made that. I got caught in that block. And look at me. Look at me. I still said the things I wanted to say. I still made her smile. I hopefully made a bit of her day. It seemed like I did. And that's what was in my control. Not making her day, but taking the action. And my self-worth went up. And that allowed me to be more free and more expressive because I proved to my brain it's completely safe. No matter what outcome I had, it was completely safe because I'm still alive. Getting to a stage in your life where you pride yourself on that, that I can get caught in a block and be completely fine, I have found is so much more fucking healthy, so much more of a accomplishment than I said that sentence without stuttering, hooray. Because the moment you don't, the moment you stutter, you're gonna fucking crumble. We wanna be able to endure everything. There's gonna be environments in your life where you will stutter again. You can't tell me you're going to avoid all of them. <laughs> there is going to be stressful environments in your life. There is going to be stages where you're in a repressive mood. And if you allow yourself to crumble because of that, because you have not worked on the anxiety, because you have not worked on the self-esteem, because you have not worked on the tension inside you and proving to yourself that it's completely fucking safe to get judgment. It's completely safe for people not to like you. It's completely safe as long as you're taking the action. That is something that's going to help you a lot more. And that's a story, a story I want to share with you today about my worst block, probably for like over a year that I had today. And it didn't fucking phase me. It actually allowed me to grow. And that's my request to you is I know you're in pain, maybe. And I know all you do is want to stop stuttering, but I guarantee you that's not where the pain is. That's not where the pain is. The pain is not in the stutter. The stutter can actually make your day. The stutter can make other people's day. The pain is feeling disconnected. The pain is feeling less than others. The pain is feeling inferior. The pain is feeling like, why me? That's the pain. Why don't we address those issues? Why don't we address that? So no matter what you speak like, you'll be completely fine. And the thing is, when you're in that state where it's no no matter what I speak like, I'll be completely fine. You are so much more fucking fluent. That's just a byproduct of being more authentic. That's the goal. Authenticity. All right. So that's my story for I, that's my story for. <laughs> that's my story for you. I hope it resonated with you. Was a really loud bike here one second that's my story for you i hope it resonated with you and if it does resonate with you and you're someone who doesn't want to address the speech but you want to address the underlying issues that will allow you to be the person you are when you're by yourself to everyone meaning if i stutter fuck it doesn't matter because the relationship you have with yourself because the relationship you have with your stutter because the relationship you have with other people's judgments is a lot more healthy if you want to get into that state then that gets me excited all right i have a link down below it says free consultation call click it you can fill out a couple questions your name um 
a short des a short description about yourself, what your goals would what your goals would be, so that I can take a look at it, and give you a quick ring, and um, dive a bit deeper into your situation com completely for free, and see if I'd be able to help you out at all. If you're in if you're interested in that, again, closest link down below in the description. Click on that and fill out a couple questions and I'll be talking to you soon. All right. So I hope that resonated with you and uh, I'm always, I'm always here to help. Also, in, also Instagram, you can find in the description below CG stutter. It is uh, a great place to talk to me and I hope that made sense. I love you. Peace out.